Hey Libra, Sun, Moon, Arise, and welcome to Live, Laugh, Love, Terry. Today's topic is a collective energy read, okay? Uh, this can play out past, present, or future, all right? This is going to be a collective read, and so it may or may not resonate with you fully. But you can always check out my playlist for additional collective reads. Uh, I will say that this is a timeless reading, so whenever you're seeing it, that's when it's meant for you. But thank you so very much for all of the likes, subscribes, tips, and donations to this channel. It is greatly appreciated. So first, we're going to delve into the overall energies, what's going on with you. Then we're going to throw some tarot on it, get some clarity behind any situations. And then we're going to get moving forward, all right? So what is the overall energy? Okay. Here we have... Each age has its own special joys and experiences. I am always the perfect age for where I am in life. I am at peace with my age. So you could be feeling a little old right now, okay? Uh, you could be feeling like maybe you are, I don't know if it's so harsh as to say an outcast, but you're like, oh, I'm older. This isn't my type of crowd. Maybe you uh, attract a lot of younger people into your life and you're like, oh, I just don't get this generation. Or you kind of feel like maybe you should have did these type of things when you were younger. When Spirit is saying that you're the perfect age for the moment of time in your life, okay, that you're currently in, all right? What else? Here we have, I flow freely. I, fro I flow freely and lovingly with life. I love myself. I know that only good awaits me at every turn. Okay, I let go of all expectations. That's what I'm saying. You need to go with the flow more, letting go of these expectations of if I was younger, things would be better. If if I was more youthful, I could do this. Somebody want to have Meg the Stallion knees and I just have to point that out. So if that's you, smash the like button. You're like, damn, my knees just... If I was younger, I could run better. If I was younger, I could exercise better. If I was, you know, it's that type of energy. And it's saying, let go of those expectations that place you in a box and limit your thinking. Okay. It says, express my creativity. There is some part of you that needs to be expressed, Libra, Sun, Moon, Horizon. It says, my unique and creative talents and abilities flow through me and are expressed in deeply satisfying ways. My creativity is always in demand. Let your creativity flow, Libra, Sun, Moon, Horizon. There is something here that um, needs to be expressed within you. It's like your God self. Anything that is like of expression and creativity that is the divine trying to express themselves itself right the divine creator of all things through you okay because we were created in the divine's image so be mindful of that something part some part of you needs to be expressed and that's like your uh gift to the divine to humanity okay and don't be out here feeling like you know, oh, I can't go forth and present my projects and present who I am because I'm older. And it's younger people talking about these things and doing these things. Spirit is saying, no, you're exactly where you need to be. Stop rotating this back and forth. Is it for you? Can I do this? And walk into this role of the King of Pentacles that takes charge, is abundant. We don't know how the fuck old the King of Pentacles is. This could be somebody that's, to me, middle-aged, right? Does anybody question how old the Mad Hatter is? Maybe, but does that affect the quality of the Mad Hatter's thinking? No, the Mad Hatter is still the Mad Hatter. You're still this creative person that needs to be expressed freely because maybe people aren't meant to... Mm. Let me just grab this card meant to understand you they just meant to relish in your creative things that you present to the world look come out of this energy of losing sleep when you um stop worrying about things 
Stop trying to cover up. Oh, I didn't say this perfectly. Oh, I didn't present this perfect. You know, oh, I'm older and, and I don't use the, the words and be able to explain stuff like others that are younger with the four cups here. Being in that lack mindset, spirit is saying, come out of that, okay? Because you're exactly where you need to be and this is the truth. Face the truth, okay? Stop juggling it back and forth, acting like you don't know. You know that you're fully capable of presenting quality to the world, whatever this creative aspect of you is. All right, stop allowing others to, with the lovers here, um, but this is somebody that's being dictated to. Stop making choices in love and with people that want to put you in a box and dictate to you what you should be doing, what you could be doing, what is a good look for you, what isn't, what's for your age, what isn't. All right, with the Queen of Swords, you need to kind of cut some of that shit out. With the King of Wands, cutting this fire sign out or earth sign that feels like they're just going to come in and tell you what you should be doing with your life, whether they mean good or not. Now is the time to face the truth. You are the, the like you're the the leader of your your life. You're the author of that book. What do you decide? What do you want? Yeah, with the magician that comes out, stop giving your power away, Libra, sun, moon, or rising. With the queen of pentacles, it's letting me know that in your receiving energy, you're worthy of receiving abundance. You're worthy of receiving. Look, some of you are going to open some type of store. I'm getting Etsy shop real heavy. So if that's you, smash that like button. If you got an Etsy shop or you're thinking about having an Etsy shop, all right? Presenting goods that you make. Some of you make candles. Others of you crochet. It's something that you do with your hands. Continue to do that and move forward, right? So that you can accept. But look at you thinking that things have to be so perfect, right? It's like I was just thinking back, like my first YouTube videos. I'm all, you know, stiff and shit and not, you know what I'm saying? When you look back on something, you're like, damn, I was stiff as hell on that. <laughs> you know, it's like that shit is going to play out like that sometimes at first, okay? But look at what you're able to receive, this Queen of Pentacles, right? Stop covering up shit that's not perfect. That is the thing that we like about it. It's your twist on it. Delve deeper into that. Unleash your creativity. Stop putting yourself in a box. With the Three of Cups, you may be coming into energies that are like-minded like you, okay? Okay? Hold your guard up to those that are not like that are just trying to um, come around you for gain. Right. But don't be to the point where you don't trust people, because I'm getting that you're going to pass a judgment that you need to lower your guard because you're going to attract some people. They want me to part the deck. Yeah. Ace of Cups. It's like people like you and you're going to have loving relationships with these people. OK, some of you relations. All right. That's all I'm going to say. Um. Let's get some clarity here. Yeah, you're coming. Uh, you have this Queen of Wands energy. Uh, very creative uh, about you. With the Four of Cups right now, you could be, like I said, in that energy of, oh, I can't have this. You know, you're inside the box, right? What was that song? <laughs> put the stick in the box. Put your ass in the box, right? That's where you were at, especially with this Eight of Swords. You're like, oh, I can't have this. Oh, I'm going to... I'm going to miss out on it because I don't know what to do. Face the damn truth. Queen of Wands comes out. You're very creative. Delve into that energy. You're resilient. You can have anything that you want, Libra, okay? With the Five of Wands here, Spirit is saying fight for the truth, okay? With the King of Cups, express your emotion, okay? Walk away from the things that don't serve you, all right? Even if it's for some of you all, you got to cut off family and friends that you thought was your people, okay? But have strength, okay? Because good things are to come, right? With the devil card, uh, that's Capricorn energy. You could have a Capricorn somewhere around you, but you could be obsessing over this as well, the people that you got to cut off. But a message comes in fast. Oh, you could have an offer, okay? You could have an offer. You could have some type of collaboration. You could have a sponsor coming in that wants to work with you, okay? With the Queen of Swords, with the Queen of Swords, you're in this energy of attracting true offers, 
things that are of importance, value, okay? You're not just about to take any fucking offer, okay? But I feel as though don't cut off something because it appears to be something that it's not with the King of Cups here. Um, it's almost an energy of like, if you had a bad experience before, don't let that taint moving forward because what if you get like a bad offer in the past and they kind of lowballed you now you're thinking that this it's another opportunity and it may look like that but it's not really that it may be other incentives that they're putting in they're not trying to take advantage of you okay see with the justice at the bottom that's your energy and it is saying that you will receive justice for the sleepless nights for the times when you were trying to rest but you couldn't because you had work to do you had a legacy to place right you had things to work on that were of utmost value that were going to give you value. Yeah, with the two of cups here, know that you're going to go towards people, places, things, careers, uh, goals that are for you, that want you just as much as you want them, that are for you just as much as you are for it. Come out of this energy, though, okay? Come out of that regret. It's like the last little tidbits. Look. Empress energy, embody this. Know that you are worthy of receiving this as it comes in because it's going to feel like it's too much for you. It's too good to be true. But you're worthy of this. You have manifested this. And now it is time for you to receive it. You're coming in as the star, okay? You could be world-renowned. You could be a star. You could be well-known for this work, for the quality that you put out, okay? Libra, sun, moon, horizon. With the Seven of Swords, you do need to watch your back about shit. You got a lot of close people, family, okay, that could be trying to uh, come back around and fix things with you, but you need to place a judgment on them. It's the energy of keep these people where you have, where they showed you where they need to be, okay? Prioritize. I'm not saying don't love your family, but prioritize them, okay? Because you're going to have a lot of people that are going to come back around like, oh, I'm family. Oh, we best friends. Oh, we grew up together. All oh, this, that, and the next. Cousins, everything. And it and it is like that. You do have some type of bond with them. But you need to place them accordingly, Libra. And I'm going to be honest with you. I got to be honest. I got to give you the messages. So moving forward. We have the strength card, okay? Mountains. You're going to overcome mountains, right? And a lot of it may be facing truth, facing this um, uncertainty that you have. And it's almost like self-confidence grows from this. Confidence grows from this moving forward. You have the strength, you know what I'm saying, to come out of this. But you're going to have to be vulnerable even moving forward, too, because that's how that creativity comes out, how that inner child is provoked, almost is brought out of hiding. When you have this vulnerable energy where you're your truest self and you can really delve into this creativity or this creative aspect of yourself, spirit is saying just breathe, okay? Um, meditation techniques and breathing techniques may be beneficial for you moving forward, but there's an energy of you needing to nurture yourself too, all right? And lastly, allow yourself to emerge, allow that creativity to come out and really get in full effect, for sure, okay? Don't be afraid of this. Just let it come on out and you will uh, gain that confidence as well and let go of all those expectations that you placed on yourself that put you in a box. Free yourself, Libra, Sun, Moon, Horizon. If this message resonated with you, smash that like button. And if you want to see more reads like this one, smash that like button. Thank you for your love and support to this channel. Until then, peace and love.